Hello, people of Ubru. Uh, last time we talked about racking and finding. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one last rack to get rid of any sediment that's in your wine before we do our final bottling. So here's the racking stage. This is where we're gonna to try to get your wine as nice and clear as we can. Wherever you have put it, make sure it stays there for at least 24 hours so that we can make sure all of your sediment has rested on the bottom. And so you're gonna get a really, really nice, clear red or white. We'll pop your racking cane in like this. You're gonna go about halfway down. You don't wanna start sucking right away. Um, if you go too far down when you start sucking on the hose, then you're gonna pull up a lot of sediment. So about halfway down, and then we'll go down to our carboy here. So now that we're bottling, uh, there's two things that you can use. Um, you can use just your regular racking cane. Just be really careful when you put it in that you didn't have any sediment after your last rack. Or you can use an auto siphon like I have here. And it really is just a pump and it's gonna pump your wine through the flow of the tube. Um, and it just kind of makes it a little bit easier uh, to keep extra sediment out. So we're gonna put your pump in. And then we're going to put this end in the bottle and then we're going to start to pump. So we'll give it a couple pumps until it flows through. So now your bottle is filling up um, while it's compressed down onto the bottle end. Um, if you want the bottle to stop filling, you just lift it up and then it'll stop the flow. So we'll push down and keep that going. Usually when you get to about the top of the wine bottle, then that's going to bring you to the neck. So we'll lift it out. And as soon as you lift it out, like I said, it does stop the flow. And then we'll move it to the next bottle. And it's going to flow. Once we hit the top here, that's going to be about the neck and we'll pull it out again. And this may be messy, or once you get good at it, you may not spill a drop. So last thing we're gonna do is cork your wine bottles. Um, you can get one of these corkers at Hobby Brews for $80, and they are a lifesaver. Um, they last for years. I have a customer, and he's got one that's 15 years old. Um, so you pop this down here, you push down, and it's gonna fit in this notch here. We're gonna put our cork in up here and then put your foot down on the bottom just to get a little leverage. And then you swing your top over and it'll cork your bottle. There we go. We got a nice cork there and there's not going to be a bunch of oxygen um, in your bottle. We left a little bit of room for it. Um, and it's gonna be a nice bottle of wine that's gonna age really, really well. Now you've made that perfect bottle of wine that you've wanted to. Um, you can dress it up, you can put labels on it, you can put tops on it. That's what's so exciting about doing homebrew. Uh, and really you can create whatever you want. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out um, the different steps in making wine and give us a call if you need us at Hobby Brews by Northern Lights. Thank you.